Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks. This is my buddy Jay. This is my E30 M3. Welcome to Retro Rides at Goodwood. Yes. What did you do to the car since the last video? He went, went on York holiday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Which was planned. Five star deal. If he did. <laughs> with, with my three year old kid, I might add, though, which uh, is not, it's not really a holiday. Yeah, whatever. It's the last quality. video, we were at the dyno. We had uh, some questions about whether it was as powerful as it should be. Drove around the industrial estate, decided that it's overgeared massively because we spec the gearing for the Nurburgring. So it does like 185, 190 mile an hour, which is why first gear is really long and why to me it felt a little bit unusually slow. Yeah. Uh, so we've got drop gears in the gearbox, we can swap that around um, potentially and make it really short ratio. But we haven't done that for now. We've concentrated on uh, important stuff like getting the AFRs showing on the dash in a number that we understand. Yeah, in old, old fashioned. Man. Yeah, yeah. AFR. So, Not Lambda. So I can actually pay some attention to what's yeah. going on with that when we go out on track. And We've got air temp on the dash now. Yeah. We've opened up. Go on, show us inside yeah. now. Show us inside. Show us inside. Drilled through here, basically. It had a bit of open air anyway. On the dyno video, you'll notice we were clicking the bonnet open. Yeah. Because the air temp was getting out of control. It was going up to like 60 degrees. So I was doing that, holding it whilst we were doing the dyno. But just behind here is where the filter is. Uh, and we've got like open air here, but. But it was only coming from around the headlights because of how the grill yeah. is made. Yeah, so basically did a bit more drilling because I don't want to have a gopping hole where a headlight used to be because that's just disgusting. Yeah. Uh, so leave that for Hellcats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Un so yeah, it's kind of drilled out a little bit here, uh, and hopefully we'll make a bit of a difference. That. No, we got finally got the nice buttons on the AIM PDM uh, can pad here as well. Indicators, wipers, light, various lights page next for the dash up here uh, and then we've got kind of ignition and start as you normally would um, priority on obviously the gear position there but yeah now we've got AFR in real numbers here for us because it was on the new one I don't know <laughs> foreign one. it's foreign and we understand this number yeah. <laughs> 10 is rich so 17 is lean yeah clear off of your 0 point something <laughs> so, I mean it, I always remember 13 is the good number for voltage yeah. and for, for AFR there we go yeah so, um, <laughs> so yeah uh, Jay's had to do some calculations with it aim have been actually really helpful with uh, trying to make this make sense to us but it's such a powerful thing and the logging that it has and everything like that it's quite an unusual thing to us in many ways um, so we're trying to wrap our heads around that as we start using the car again but yeah it's, as I say it's been a long time looking forward to getting back out in it um, this is not at all the place to be doing your shakedown run after <laughs> nine months of rebuild but the timing just worked out that way especially with me going on holiday that um, we were down to the wire and we could either chicken out and uh, do it another time and not come to retro rides or we could just get stuck in see how it goes and, oh, yeah. and see what mess we make along don't the way don't embarrass oneself that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's the only thing that i really want to make sure of is that we don't embarrass ourselves <laughs> So this event at Goodwood is exactly the same format as the Retro Rides event we did at Mallory Park last year. Uh, in fact, that's the very last time we used the car before we put the wiring out and started this PDM uh, new wiring and dash upgrade. The format of the track action is it's called hot laps and it is super intense. But you exit the pits, you have the remainder of that lap to learn the track, to get a tiny bit of warmth into your tires. Then from the beginning of the pit straight, you have one flying lap and then you come back round and again the checkered flag is waved at the beginning of the pit straight and you hammer on the anchors come to a complete stop and exit the track so yeah super intense way of doing things quite a lot of fun but i think for anybody it's kind of a high risk thing and particularly uh, in the e30 having not driven it for so long it really got the adrenaline pumping that's for sure
looks all right from where I was. That is, it's again, the steepest of steep learning curves. I have no idea where I'm going. I didn't even watch a video before I came here. Keep turning right. <laughs> That's pretty much it, but it is fast. It looked, it looked No, nice. I mean the circuit's fast, not yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, is this but, bad? Yeah, this is good, I think. Yeah? I, I think I'm gonna give it, give them One and a half two thumbs, thumbs up. up. One and a half. <laughs> it, it looks to be, I don't know, very rich on pull away and still puffing black smoke at times. Did, uh, so did you think that you put a load of enrichment into it? I took loads out. Oh, okay. As far as I understood it anyway. Because it had tons and I took it out. Yeah, I, it smells a bit hot. So we'll probably open the bonnet. The air temps, once we got moving, were like 40s, which is good. Yeah, that's a lot better. As soon as you come here, it's 70 again. Yeah, but it's not getting flow, is it? Yeah. No, that's cool. I mean, the fire's still there. 100% it made a massive flame coming into that chicane. Oh, that's sweet. Like, that's all we need then. That's, yeah. I'm happy if that's, if, as long as we've got some footage of that somewhere. I mean, I'm I haven't happy. yet, but <laughs> next time I'll go around there. Um, no, that's positive at least. Yeah, it'll do for now anyway. As far as um, uh, first sessions, like, as you can see, I'm a bit a bit shaky, but uh, I'd say that kind of went pretty well. That's good news. Apart from the bit that we didn't film where it, we were trying to start it. I'd left it in the queue for a bit, started it, and it was like running on six cylinders for a bit. And yeah. uh, a couple of restarts, it was still doing the same. And uh, yeah, one more time and Luckily, it started running on all eight again. And then we just, don't turn it off. I've just got to not stall it. It's a problem. The gearing's so long. It's like almost impossible to pull away without doing like a gigantic granny clutch slip on it. Right. But <laughs> I think the clutch has got to go as well as the gearing. We're going to, um, it's got drop gears in this strength gearbox. So uh, we're going to swap the drop gears and change it from like 185 mile an hour top speed to be about 135, 140 mile an hour. So I think we'd, Potentially here we'd run out of gear because it's a fast circuit, but you know, I don't need to go that fast, it's fine. You do? For most circuits, I think this, the lower ratio will be fine. If we need to buy some different drop gears to kind of get a middle ground, we will do, but it's not quite as easy as when we change the gears on the DW86 drift yeah. car because that's in the diff, that's a Winters drop gear differential. Yeah. It takes about 10 minutes to change the drop gears on this, on that, but this is gearbox, the back half of the gearbox down, which means pop off. Uh, exhaust off, shifter out. It's just going to be like a three hour job basically, even on a ramp pedal. And more importantly, you can't turn up at a day like this and not win in a car like this. You don't turn up in a race. Everyone's car. like, I can't wait to see it going round. I'm like, oh God, stop watching. <laughs> it went all right. It went all right for now. So we'll just see. Um, hopefully, it turns on again and runs properly. We've got to get to the bottom of that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So uh, hopefully, we'll get a couple more goes of this. I can actually relax into it a little bit more to study what's going on because I didn't look at AFRs once I didn't look at any warnings I was literally just going oh where's the track yeah, go where does really the track time go to look to be honest is it but, you <laughs> yeah. know. but um shifting worked yeah it worked really well up and down yeah. and again long gearing I'm only into fourth top of right, fourth is oh, like okay. well over 100 mile an hour like quite a lot more than that so uh, well Al said he got 160 down there so that he was in up a, a 690 horsepower B12 Ferrari. Well, change up. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, all right, cool.
BMW heading across the line. Glasses on fire here. The exhaust room, basically. So. Um, oh, no. Here's a mover. Move up. Yeah. Can you call recovery? Yes. Yeah. It's nowhere near any fuel or anything, so don't worry. It's behind this here, basically. Does it still smoke? Nah, it's fine. Basically, it was touching here, right. touching the exhaust and the bumper. That one only replaced it. You alright? Yeah. Stop giving up. Yeah, I think it's good. The exhaust is kind of sat down, whereas it was yeah. touching the bumper before. Okay. Annoyingly, it's obviously got that hot. Yeah, well, it is. It's just toasty today. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to thank you. Yeah, alright. Yeah. I like the fire on this car, but not that high. <laughs> <light. laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one step too far. Yeah. Yeah. Pretending to know what we're doing. Hey, look at us. We're, we're being fancy. Should we get to the good bit? Should we analyze first lap time? <laughs> oh, look, split times report. Oh, split uh, times, yeah. I don't know how you work this, but let's press some buttons and see what comes up. Um, we're trying, actually, the fire is kind of a separate thing that we're going to deal with later. Like, we can't do anything about it. Essentially, it's, uh, the, what has happened is the exhaust has grown because it's got so hot. Like that. And as it's done that, it's swung on one of the hangers. Uh, the tip pads have got really close to that one. Swung his tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, swung, swung outwards like that. Like that, into and, your uh, face. Yeah, and we forgot it's a real M3 back bumper, so it's um, it's plastic. Isn't it? So that was why once we put it out, it must have just had another drip of molten plastic onto the exhaust and set fire again. So that needs some revision. That's you know that's fine. We're, Kind of wondering if maybe the flames are a little bit more excessive than normal. I mean, oh look, look track. Oh yeah. But yeah, we just downloaded the data. So what we're going to do now is go to the pub and get drunk and pretend we know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the pub. Yeah. That's exactly how they analyse every race anyway. So uh, I've got to say, I'm kind of. Uh, I expect. I expected this to go worse. G force. Really G force. Weak. Where's it? Where's, Don't film it, it'll be, it'll be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Max G as well, sorry. Well, this is lateral acceleration oh, on this one. I mean, it might not work because might, we might not have all the sensors, to be honest. But. We're, we're going to go and do some learning, more pretending, and uh, working stuff out. But uh, I'd call that kind of like said, a bit more of a successful shakedown, essentially, than I expected. Because this is not the place or the event you really want to be bringing a car to shake it down. 
I mean, I came, well. in, I came in with a 50%. The engine's going to be in pieces on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You know. so, yeah, we'll call it all thumbs up, all round. So, yeah. Except for a fire. Yeah. A little yeah, A little fire. It's a little, little fire. It's only a bit So, here's, here's the amount of fire it normally does, and that's what we call good fire. Here's bad fire where it's yeah. on fire. And I think we were only there, really. I so think one more run and you'd have been yeah. bad if fire. We're, if we're doing real laps, like action, oh, you'd like have been in trouble. Be in yeah, trouble. Yeah. yeah, so no. I think we can call that happy days. Yeah, we'll probably leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for supporting us. Bye bye to the Good Folk Shop. We'll catch you next time.